Hi there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. I'll be doing a few free reviews today. This is the second of that series. So I'll be doing uh, Calvin Klein fragrance. And these are not, uh, this is not a new line. This is an old line. Uh, I have a lot of history with this perfume. I never owned it. I smelled it before but never ended up buying it because this is a bit expensive for CK perfume. So hopefully you're doing good. And I'll be reviewing an excellent hidden gem sort of fragrance. I don't know how much it costs in your area, but in my area, if you buy the cheapest, it's gonna cost you 60 something dollars. Uh, so as you can see from title, I don't have to put some so much mystery. This is CK Euphoria Man Liquid Coal. And it's a very old uh, box uh, perfume, which was in one of the shops, vintage shops. So under the light, they lost some colors, but it's original. I tested the perfume. Bottle is in pristine condition. It was intact. And uh, I just opened it. I just checked for the smell quality. And I think the juice is very, very good. So I tried it in one other shop like a few years back, but I did not buy it because CK fragrance, I don't like paying so much. I'm used to paying like $35, $40 tops, but this is more expensive and for a reason. So previously from this line, I think I did Amber Gold, which is a Middle Eastern exclusive, very niche quality juice, bit rare to find. And some of you may say, hey, in my area in Europe, this can be found for so cheap, lucky you, okay? But it's not the same case for everybody, right? So different areas, different supplies, different fragrances. Uh, are in different uh, quantity or stuff okay so i believe this is a middle eastern exclusive and i did see let me tell you the story with this perfume um, i saw scentland chris okay one of my most favorite channels i started watching my reviews and he was one of the first guys i really love his reviews and he reviews some hidden gems some uh, lesser known unknown perfumes that people don't review that much and he's like an og reviewer right so he did review something like uh, dior um What's the, what's the fragrance called? Dior. One of the Dior fragrances. I forgot. Dior. Not higher. But uh, man, what's the fragrance? I don't remember. This is like some of those fragrances people don't review that much. So after watching this review, I want to get it. But he reviewed this in one of these old videos. And I absolutely want to smell it. Because the bottle looks really beautiful. And the smell when I tried it, um, it's something like winter perfume. So let's check it out. So I believe they have one for women, one for men. Something like that. And they have few in this line. So this is once again called Euphoria Man Liquid Cold, okay? This is in uh, EDP concentration and it is EDP concentration. This is how that box looks. I believe this used to be golden color, okay? With time, with the light, these things faded, okay? It's more like, nah, it has a little bit of gold left still, but it used to be darker gold. So gold and black combo. This is how the box looked. And this is 100 ml, uh, bottle size. Uh, sorry, uh, this is the bottle, okay? This looks even nicer than the amber gold bottle. I'm all... Uh, about the presentation and bottle and they do make me excited take a look at these bottles so CK Euphoria line is more of their uh, designer more affordable line but these are a bit darker take imagine something like Bentley fragrances some of them are designers and they have the similar looking bottle like they have more niche line okay those are three times more than their typical perfume so this is their you can say upper class CK Euphoria line so really nice copper color i think this is a plastic or gunmetal plate and this is the black bottle like a dark bottle love the combination of this two okay kind of like a copper slash golden with black so when you hear liquid gold it gives the idea of oud right and i believe this is not oud but it's woody spicy uh, dark fragrance so let's see how this one works okay i have it on the paper and the dry down is so lovely okay cap got some weight sprayer is good take a look at the atomizer it got black inside with that uh, golden so if you're scared for fakes uh, good atomizer but not the best i would say it, it, okay you know it does have good distribution so this one the let it settle down let me talk about performance performance it's something like bulgari's man in black it if you spray a little bit heavy five sprays it will last you decent six to seven hours easy okay but if you have better weather condition than me then you might get a bit more but i'm not sure it's going to give you like 10 hours push because uh I did not get that okay so i recently got it because i you know there are a lot of fragrances you know you pay about for a lot more money but when you see a house you know like ck or bulgari you are reluctant you know like hey not paying 20 dollars extra for that house and you know i'm changing nowadays you know if you want something and later you never find it you know you spend a little bit more money but you got what you wanted that's what basically this is so this one has good longevity okay uh, solid for a ck um, Projection is very good, about two hours. It's about arm's length, one and a half arm. Um, season to wear this in winter. 
it's a masculine perfume it's a spicy i do not think women would love to wear this but if they do uh, there's no boundaries you know anybody can wear anything so i would say ideally in cold weathers like let's say it's under 50 degrees below you want to wear this you want to wear four or five sprays night time so this one opens up very nice spicy it's a hint of maybe hint of citrus but dark citrus you know like it smells dark from the word go and it reminds me of bulgari's man in black a lot but it's minus that tobacco sweet booziness is just straight up dark spices sandalwood and i think there is a there's a note somewhere there it, it's kind of like not charcoal but it's dark okay and it's not to say like darkest of the dark but it is dark it's something that reminds me of uh, black orchid slash bulgari man in black if you made the two i do have both my bottle of black orchid running low i'm not gonna buy that again i think it's so, so expensive now uh, so if you do like that i have bulgari's man in black or black orient this is similar to bulgari's black uh, bulgari man in black black orient okay so yeah there you go uh, black orient is super rare to find this one can be a good replacement for that and the perfume is kind of like a dark chocolate as well imagine tom ford noir de noir noir extreme minus the kulfi note yeah so i'm giving you like sort of like an idea what this may smell like but basically many would say this is similar to shopard oud maliki or something like man in black it's in that territory bentley for man absolute this is that territory it's a little bit smoky leather jacket type of perfume i think this fragrance it's sophisticated it's not your typical sweet teenager like it's a little bit like 30 plus men would love this and maybe married men or a divorced man who's still awesome <laughs> so i love this perfume it's a uh, dark opulent such a rich fragrance and it's hunt you know when you hunt down such a fragrance you feel so happy these are like missing puzzles in your life so after watching the review of scentland chris who i love his work man that man is from hungary or germany and not quite sure i think hungary yeah so he speaks like a professor okay if you love if you do not know his channel just check it out he is like sent lan okay now one of the most underrated reviewers of the fragrance community and uh, the way he described it he did the awesome job obviously see i went and bought it finally so this is a perfume i'll tell you the weaknesses okay when you when this was released okay i'm not sure which year it was but i'm pretty sure that time it was super unique and you wouldn't find fragrances like that but nowadays you'll find many fragrances similar to this so it's not a fault of this perfume which uh, i would not say this one didn't age well but you may feel you don't need this if you already have shopard with maleki or bulgari man you know or black korean black orchid of tom ford you may find this a little bit redundant and a little bit the sandalwood is kind of like that fragrance like daniel icon elite if you have that you may feel it's similar to that but i'll tell you one thing uh, perhaps you may feel this is a CK perfume, people like, oh man, you don't have a niche perfume, this is a designer. If you can go past that, it's an excellent fragrance. So those are not really weaknesses, those are some downside I'm telling you. And it's not quite like 10 hours plus, I got 6 to 7 hours, I'm happy with it. So this is fragrance, I would say, not a must have if you are uh, not so serious collector. But if you're a collector, this is a dream for a collector, okay. These are rare perfumes, not everybody's gonna have and you can brag about these. People who know this, they know how rare this is. So, for, of, for, of course, the liquid gold doesn't evoke the feel of oud, okay? It's more woody, spicy, sandalwood, and uh, nighttime, mysterious, kind of like a leather sort of vibe, like a dark leather, black leather. If you like that description, give it a try. This is called Liquid Gold by Euphoria Line by Calvin Klein for Men. Um, this is a fine for me, and I am so happy I have this, okay? Check it out for winter. I'm going to wear this a lot. Overall rating for this fragrance if the price was 50 bucks i would be so happy but 60 dollars 62 dollars i spend hmm, if it was for 50 i would say this is more like a nine i'll give it like 8.5 out of 10 okay check it out thanks so much for watching and i'll do one more review then i'll upload this uh check it out and have a nice day take care